Okay, you guys, I got a lot to show you guys this week, such as the setup. You see them right here on your screen. Um, I'm going to show you how to mark this up So, because I see a whole lot of opportunities that's going to be coming up this week. Uh, but I do have to say right up front that uh, this is what it looked like for some of y'all last week. <laughs> Y'all was crying. The Trump effect took effect on these charts and you got your behind whooped. That's OK. You know, it's not a big deal. But I will say this uh, for the rest of us. Some of us was looking like this. Hold on. Let me get this up for you. This is what we was looking like in a copycat. Boom. You see that? That's what we were looking like in the copycat because we went beast on them uh, and how we did that. Let me show you how we did it. Uh, let me pull this up. Uh, as you guys can see right here, uh, we really did a job on them, and I'm going to be very, very honest about this. Uh, as I told you guys, um, I tried to explain this to you up front. I told you guys that, hey, um, Uncle P is going to be taking a break from trading. We had 16 wins, only three losses, and had made netted 916 pips. I had an 84.21% uh, win rate. And this number three represents, or you guys can't see it, but there's in this bright spot right here, we still have three trades that are open. The market did do a huge pullback on the JPY pairs, all of them across the board, because some news that came out, but we do expect those to rebound back up. And so we'll be going from there. But the point is, is this, is that uh, I told you guys that uh, I got a family situation. My nephew got gotten shot, and then we got some other things going on. And I really just want to take a break, spend some time with Nancy, and then work on other projects for you guys, such as the uh, prop firm challenge uh um, situation where we can gather together a, a list of prop firms that will allow copy trading. And so yesterday I posted up a video on exactly how to set up your prop firm accounts to be connected to an, a MetaTrader account so that that's no longer an issue. It doesn't matter whether they're using DX Trade, Trade Lock, or whatever. It don't matter at all anymore. And I they gave you a step by step how I connected mine so that I put the my copier the copycat copier onto a demo account of the meta trader so that if your prop firm says, hey, yes, we do allow copy trading, but you do have to show that the account belongs to you specifically, then you can now do it because with the, all you have to do is pull up the demo account and say, hey, see, here's the trades coming into my demo account. And here's my name on the demo if they ask for it. So that problem is solved through the steps I showed you guys yesterday. So that's that, okay? So no longer do we have to worry about that issue. Um, so that's gonna be an amazing opportunity for us. And so uh, the other thing I wanna do is get to show you guys uh, um, the charts. Now, there is some news that's going to be coming up this week. Um, I see that uh, the AUD has a little bit of news coming out, but the big ones are going to be uh, the CAD, JPY, and Euro is coming out with CPI numbers, but CAD and CAD, JPY, and the Great British Pound this week are coming out with at inflation rates. So you guys definitely, definitely, definitely want to be checking your time frames for that, uh, making sure that you guys are not trading during those news events this week. Um, and I think they come in on some on Tuesday, uh, one on Wednesday, another on Thursday, okay? All right, you guys, so let's get to the markups. I want to show you guys, and I covered this last week so that you guys can kind of see what happened. So basically what happened was, and let's go out to a higher time frame, you'll see that the euro dollar, uh, the pound dollar, and all of these, they just really, really tanked really, really hard. And that happened immediately when Trump was, uh, uh, as you can see here, this is du during the presidential election. The moment the markets realized that Trump was about to win, they just went dumb. OK, and that's what this move is. And you can see the arrow called it right before the big move. And voila, it shot off. OK, so this is the U.S. 30. Uh, right here. And I've seen this pattern and I told and that's what I sent out to you guys. I told you, hey, I already see that this is going to go down. Double top right here against the lower high. Once it breaks low and come back and retest, it was going downhill. OK, and this is, again, why I'm asking you guys to leave my traders alone. Let them do what they do best because they know what they're doing. And the more you interfere with and keep trying to bother them to trade like you, which you haven't did any withdrawals, the, the more they're more concerned about how you're going to feel about their trades versus them just simply trading and you missing out on huge opportunities. So this was a very, very easy trade, but I'm going to 
going to mark up some charts. I'm going to show you guys some opportunities because I really believe that this more this week, the market is going to recover very, very hard. So I want to show you an example of what, how simple this is. And I kind of showed you guys this, but I'm going to show it to you again. Let's go to Euro, uh, Euro dollar. All right. So here's the deal. The first thing, if I'm going to look for reversals, um, of course, I'm going to wait for the 15 or 30 minute arrow which we had received right here. But for additional confirmation, and this is very, very powerful, for additional confirmation, one of the things you want to do is wait for it to pop up, come back down, pop up, come back down, and give this. What is this? And let me move this line, this white line out the way, and you'll see it. See? If you had a sexy analyst, my sexy analyst system, which I absolutely love, the system is actually absolute beast of a system. Bottom line is what it's going to show me is what? Here's the low, low. And then it created a what? Higher low. What is a higher low? It comes back and give a low point, but the low point is higher than the previous one. Now, we'll see how the market reacts when the market opens up, but this is pretty encouraging to me. The next thing I'm going to do is just you know, simply go up here, get my horizontal line, and where that low was kicked in and touched, I'm just going to drop it across. And watch this. Go to the four-hour time frame. See? Boom, boom. Let's go to the daily, see if this is a good level, and look at what price action touched. Let's slide to the left. And you can see plenty, 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 plenty of support right there. Let's slide to the win the weekly and look at this thing here. Look at that. Literally, 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 literally from the weekly. You can even go out to the monthly and you can see boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. So how now, how comfortable are you with this being a lower high? Do you get what I'm saying? How comfortable are you now with it? So as you can see, this is why I'm feeling pretty warm and fuzzy about it. It looks like this may be the low, but who knows? It could break below and go further down, okay? Such as what this one did, because you know me, I'm not really a fan of trend trading. I'm sorry, reversal trading uh, when the market opens. Now, again, one of the things that's going to save your bacon is to actually wait for the arrow to come out. Once you get an arrow, 15 minute or 30 minute, then you hop into the trade. Uh, but until then, just hold off because something like this can happen. So if I drew my line across this support level, which was very strong, let's take it on out to the four hour. See, it broke through there. So what would be the likely next likelihood if it continues to go down? From the daily standpoint, we can see this would be the 61.8 Fibonacci level, which is pre-built into the sexy analyst. So if you don't have it, you need to get it dirt cheap to get it. Uh, very, very, very good trading system. And so from the daily, you can see this is a very, very strong range right here. So since this is already broken out of this, where would it go next? In my opinion, it can come down here. But here's the good news. That's not many pips at all. That's only like 20 something pips. So if we get this support, you know, with a retest and we get our arrow, maybe a 15 minute or 30 minute arrow, you best to believe that I'm going to hop into that bad boy because again, even from these higher time frames, and let me remove this bottom one, you can clearly see that this is a very strong level, very, very strong, highly respected level. And so therefore, I do expect that it may do something like this and shoot up. Okay. So, but we got to wait and see, see how I came to this level, popped up. Drop to this level, popped up, boom, and now we'll wait for this and go and do our thing. Okay, all right, let's look at a couple of more opportunities in the market. So, again, uh, let's just go to the 30 minute because this is how you're supposed to do it anyway. So, bottom line is, let's take a look at this one. This one showed that there was an arrow that came in right there on the 30. All I'm going to do is drop my line, scoot out to the four hour, and look at that strong, strong, strong support right here, right here. And that's where I'd, it bounced right here. So right here, if it's retesting this again and it holds, then we can expect it to go through. If not, then it may be looking at this level right here because I see support right here. Boom, boom, boom. So somewhere in that range. So either it's going to stop here and pop or it can come down to this level and come back up. Either way it goes, wait for the arrow. And see, this is how you go from higher time frames to lower time for confirmation. All right, so this one did the same thing. And all I'm doing is drag, grab my horizontal line from the arrow. The arrow is the boss. No arrow, no trade. Now, remember, in the beginning of the week, typically, typically, 
what typically happens is, is that the market tends to like to do a pullback. OK, so be expecting pullbacks to support levels. So I'm going to grab my parallel lines and kind of show you guys this is what I'll be looking for. So if this pulls back and create a lower high, giving me a white support line somewhere right here, I'll be more prone to believe it um, so that I know I'm not jumping in too early. OK, but either way it goes, it's creating a nice channel to the upside. So let's go out to our uh, camera team and see what the panned out camera tells us about it. And it looks like it shot right up off this level right here. And is that a respected level? Let's go to the D. And here we go. Boom. Respect it. Respect it. See all that cluttering and action right there? Look at that. How many times it hovered right around there? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is why price had touched. So this is how you verify in addition to the arrow and the, simple, the sexy analyst, this is a third way for you to go back on your charts and see, hey, is this true or not? So for an example, if we get an arrow here um we're going to drop and this if we get an arrow we're going to drop that horizontal line and we're going to scoot out to these other time frames and see where wicked right there literally literally look at that look at that look at that boom 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 see so this range right here but mainly right here is where it got touched but again do we have an arrow we don't have one so we're going to wait for a confirmation arrow okay and this is all you're going to do. I don't have to go through every pair, but see, this is 10 pips. I'm already up 10 pips on this one. So watch what happened. I got the arrow. You see that? Price action came back. And so I got into the trade. And see how this is a low and this is a low? It's almost the same, but this is a little bit higher up. Okay. So I'm going to drop it on the original. Go to that four-hour time frame. We don't see anything to the left. So we go out to the daily and see if we see anything and we see boom it broke through here but came right back in the structure broke through here came right back right here it literally touched literally touched it same thing here same thing here same thing here and it always hovered in this area so bottom line is this is a very 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 strong support level uh, but again if not then i have a 20 pip stop up underneath there okay so where i draw that line at 20 pips up underneath that line or from the four hour time frame, that's good enough. So I risk 20, 20, 20, 20 pips. That's it. That's it. Okay. So you just go through each one of these. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. Um, I want you guys to learn how to do this. See how the JPY pairs, all of them fell off a cliff. Now, here's the one I was in. Watch what I did. You guys are going to find this pretty nice. So here we go. Arrow came in. And remember, for reversal trading, you're going to have to wait till midweek. That's where midweek reversals came from because the market sets up the weekly high and the weekly low or the lower the week and the higher the week. It trend trades into those levels. And then Wednesday, Thursday, either one of those two days, then it prepares for the reversal. OK, so don't expect the reversals are going to happen in the beginning of the week. That's where the market goes back into a trend and it trends until it finds a support level or resistance level or it goes for stop hunts. Whatever the case, you can just wait if you're a reversal trader. Trend trade, use an ocean wave system up until then. But after that, no, just leave it alone. OK, leave it alone if you're a reversal trader only, meaning you trade support and resistance levels, supply and demand zones, all of that kind of stuff you have to wait you with me okay so here's what happened you can see it literally stopped right here at the 23.6 fibonacci level which is a strong support level going right across here so we can understand that this will probably retrace back up so uh what i did was though i took the sale i took i actually took the sale on it okay you can see that for 15 minute or from the 30 didn't matter as soon as that arrow came out from the scanner which by the way uh, I use this scanner so I don't sit on my charts all day. I just wait for the scanner to come out and send me an alert to my phone. Once it comes out, then I go and check my charts and see if it's legit set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw, go up, grab the horizontal line like I showed you guys before and just drop it across the top. Scoot out to the higher time frames. We see that that is a nice one right there. But let's go a little further out. And here it is. Is it respected? Yep, right there. You can look at that literally. Literally, literally, lit, 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 it's lit, literally. And here it is from the weekly. Look at that from the weekly. How can you not see that from the weekly? How can you not see that? 
plenty of respect right at that level, touched it and dropped. So now you can understand why this thing dropped so hard. It was respecting the level. So that's why I said, all you got to do, wait for the scanner to send you an alert. Once it does, come to your charts, drop the horizontal line, scoot out to the higher time frames, verify if that is a very strong respected area. If so, take the trade and put your stop loss, go to four hour time frame, put your stop loss about 20 or 30 pips above that line you put and leave it alone. Let it do what it do. But again, keep in mind, as I said before, and I'll say again, what's going to typically happen is, is that the markets are going to go into a trend trading mode for the first couple of days, Sunday, Monday, going into Tuesday. Typically, it will do that. Now, on days like this, where the market on Friday had what I call a Friday flush, where all of the JPY pairs just drop suddenly, when you see that, that means it was a news event that caused it. So that means they're going to probably try to find a way to clean their act up. And if so, that'll give you a great opportunity. Okay, watch this. I'm going to drop my line. I guarantee, guarantee you had an opportunity on this one. There it was. Look at that. Right there. 30 minute arrow. 15 minute arrow. Let's see if you could have got in sooner. Right about the same. So, 30 minute arrow is good. It kind of weeds out the noise. Okay. And so, as you can see, dropped, went sideways, consolidated for a minute. And this is where a lot of you guys, your patience is thin which is why I'm telling you don't bother my team when they're trading for the copycat team because as long as you guys leave us alone, we can focus and guess what? We can beast out and have a good time on these charts like we've been doing, okay? You guys who don't know how to trade keep trying to tell people how to trade and then you just, you're making a mess. So as you can see, here's the SpongeBob square head and then it just literally fell off the map. So you have plenty of time to have to hold it for a little while, but guess what? The cash out was 144 pips one trade alone and all you did was drop that line crawl over to the higher time frame look at that on the four hour how can you not see that that was a highly respected level okay look at this wick over here literally touched it literally the higher you go the more you see it look at this highly respected highly respected area there was no way you couldn't see this. Look at this from the weekly. How could you not see it? That's the question. Here it is from the monthly. Look at the monthly. You can see highly respected, highly respected. And all you did was wait for the arrow. And when the arrow came out, you hopped in the trade and you didn't get out. Why? Because you know this is a highly respected area. So yes, you may have to hold it a little while, but who cares? Because you know you almost 99% guaranteed for a win. So when this takes place, be patient, hold your trades, and see what happens. If not, you got your stop loss for 20 or 30 pips above that high level because you verified on higher time frames that indeed this is where the stop needs to be. You can even put it above this candle, which will probably been about roughly 40, 50 pips, which is nothing from the daily time frame. So you could have put your stop and let's check it right here. So if I sing this wick, it's the highest one in this whole cluster. Then let me put my stop right above that. Let's go to that 30 minute time frame. And actually, let's do this. And let's change this color to green and you guys will see it. I mean, this is so dummy, stupid, easy, super easy. OK, so here's there where that stop was. And that would be 60 pip stop. Not a big deal to be covered almost 100 percent insurance against this trade going against you. 60 pips. That's all it was. And how much did you make on this trade? Let's take a look again. From the entry, we'll even say you got in down here to down here. That's 130 pips. Okay, let's divide 130 divided by 60. Okay, that's a two to one risk ratio, two to one. You know, you knew it's almost like ain't no way you don't know it's not going to work out. How can you not realize it's not going to work out? Your stop is here. Look at how many days going all the way back to September. It's never broken above this level. Never since September. But every time it comes and touches this level, what does it do? It drops out. You get what I'm saying? So now what you want to do is look for the retracement back up because it didn't drop so hard. I'm waiting for the arrow for it to pull, pull back up. So if it does do that, let's go ahead and drop this. And this will be my last one. So I'll put the 
let's just say arrow comes in right here. I'm definitely going to go back out and check and see if this is a respected level. And we see that it does quite often wick through here and then go back up, wicks through, go back up, wicks through, go back up, wicks through and go back up. So what does that tell me? I better use a comfortable stop loss. Am I right about it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Let's check it from the daily. Here it is. Support. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Respect it, respect it, respect it. Okay. Realistically, look at this. All the way back to here, you can see this is a highly respected area. So that would be one area. Or if we're going to be a little bit more accurate, we can use these wicks right here. And you can see that is also a very, very strong respected area right there. So let's go back to the 30 minute and let's just assume we get an arrow coming in. So where would my stop be from here? Now, this is the JPYs. So again, it would be about another 60 pip stop. There you go. So now what you're doing about 60 pip stop loss, but the reward is huge. You get what I'm saying? The reward is just banger with very little, very little chance of your stop getting hit because you can see exactly where the market makers would potentially go after those who's using the tight stop loss. You can clearly see that this is where they tend to have to hit them. And so long as you got your stop below this level, Okay, 60 pips is nothing because if it bounces back up from this level and even comes to here, you're looking at about 140, 150 pips to the upside. Not bad at all. That's almost a one to three risk ratio. So do you see how I'm just using my horizontal line after I get my arrow? And there you go to do my analysis. All right. So hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video.